So today we are back for our next dose of Red Dead Redemption 2. So I was going through the comments of the last episode and it seems like the hot topic of conversation was towards the end of that episode where we see Arthur talk with the sister as she's about to leave in, in the train. And what was special about that was that everyone was basically talking about the same exact thing. I'm afraid. You see, in that scene, in that moment, in that instant, those two seconds, you can see Arthur's expression just really, really move what he's trying to say. In other words, it puts power and meaning behind the words that he says, which are, I'm afraid. And he's like borderline about to cry. That basically just shows you that Arthur deep down inside is coming to the term or coming to terms with the fact that everything he could have had, he wasted it and he might never get a second chance which to me is, is is really painful you know it goes to show you that you know obviously everybody says the same thing that time is the most va va valuable thing in life it doesn't matter how much money you have it doesn't matter what you have time is the most valuable thing that a person can have because without time you will essentially have absolutely nothing if you ask the richest man in the world Let's say he were to be dying right now and he has 10 minutes to live. He would probably give you all of his money just for one more day. If you put it into that perspective, that goes to show you the time is, is very, very valuable. And that's essentially what Arthur is kind of thinking about. I mean, I don't really know. It's not like I, you know, spoke to him the other day and he, you know, confessed to me and shit. But based on everything we've been playing with and experiencing with Arthur, I would like to say then that that's probably what's going on in his head. I don't know. What do you guys think? I've always felt like, and it's obviously common sense. Arthur is a good person. You know, in the eye of the law, we are not good people. You know, the outlaws are not good people, you know, and I've also seen comments of you guys telling me, well, in the eye of the law, Micah was the good guy because I'm going to shut up before I yep we'll talk about that later okay let's uh let's go to a a Annisburg Annisburg I need to shut up let's just let's keep going let's keep going I get I get too emotionally invested into this and I forget I forget we're not there yet okay we're not there yet <laughs> I can't feel my leg anymore. You have to get the strap off of me, please. Oh, God. Keep pulling. I can feel it. Oh, God. Oh, oh, you did it. Oh, oh. I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or, or something here. Oh, oh, mister, you, I thought. I was gonna be oh god! Oh, I thought I was gonna be a god. Oh, you, you can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh. Mm. Whew. Whew. oh. Nah, you could keep that shit. I'm just a good person. You know. Actually, hold on. Let me. See if I can speak to this guy. Oh, I can Here, give him whiskey. This will help with the pain at least. Ooh, cool. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, oh. We have a field day over this back in town. That's it. I wonder if we'll ever we'll ever see that guy again. That happens oftentimes in this game, where you'll help someone out and then you'll meet them eventually down the down the road, and 
whether they're still alive and survived or dead and didn't survive it doesn't matter okay let me just uh this weapon is in poor condition you know what i really need to uh do I have any oil to grease up my I, I i forgot the last time i've, I've uh, greased up my guns I've probably done it a couple of times, maybe three times the entire playthrough so far. Hey, hey! Hold on. There we go. You don't have any gun oil to clean this weapon. All right, so we're gonna have to. Yeah, they're in really shitty condition. We're gonna have to. Um, we're gonna have to get some gun oil and, and clean this up. It's me. Welcome back, Arthur. What up, what up, gangsters? Huh. That's Sadie Adler? Mrs. Adler. You okay? <laughs> Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. <laughs> makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a comb swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. <laughs> like you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. <laughs> Don't help Sadie the fucked up. Yeah, let's help her. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail. Jack. John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <laughs> Man. Ah. Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> Dude. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. I'm gonna cry like a little bitch. I'm sorry. It's just, I, I know it. And it's gonna suck finishing this game. I don't even want to finish. Oh, God. Find more if we're killing. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. For one of them, it's a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll we'll take it from there. Take it from there. <laughs> okay. So no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. I know that woman. She was with Dutch. No, oh, she gonna burn that shit.
What the frick? Why is my why is my damn gun not coming out? There we go. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, this is the gun I gotta fix up, so it's not gonna help me much. Unless I use that eye. Alright, let's get it. <laughs> He's got a scope. I got these eyeballs, sister. Now the sway on the gun is crazy right now. I thought they had it for a second. Oh, there he is. Little sneaky bastard. My husband. You burned our farm. You stole my That's why that's why she threw a freaking Molotov. Shot his hat, dude. You take the barn, I'll take the farmhouse. And remember, if he's fat and he's got a beard, he's mine. I'll try. He's fat. You talking about me? Let me go up top. Oh, oh shit. Kill this bastard. <laughs> kill his ass. Sorry, bucko. Right around the back. That's what I'm doing, Sadie. Calm down. You know this 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 is not as easy as it looks. These guys are kind of crazy. Perhaps crazier than I anticipated. So she's killing him. Right? Crazy ass chick, dude. <laughs> Crazy, bro. Was a good man, my Jakey. <laughs> can't believe we never got DLC for Sadie Adler. I can't believe it. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Uh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm. I ain't even got that. <laughs> Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. 
I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. It's a big camp, to be honest. So let's just see, uh, I'm gonna loot just for a second here. Not gonna loot too much, but just in case I come across some gun oil or something like that. That, that might be nice. Got some gin. Shotgun shells. Oh, my horsey. Guarma rum. Ooh, imported from Guarma, you say? Oh shit. Never mind, I gotta go. We're wanted here. We gotta get out of here. I forgot that yeah. shit. Oh dude, I forget that when you do a crime yep. like that, yeah. we'll start looking for you. Alright, so let's get out of here. Before it's too late. Yeah. We'll be on our way. We'll be alright. Hey mister. Hey, brother. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. Long time no see. Guess what I was talking so well, about friend. earlier. You okay? <laughs> no, not really. <coughs> oh, that's too bad, buddy. They told me I was dying. Only I never did. You ever die, friend? Well, no. Of course not. Of course you didn't. But, well, we're all gonna die. I guess so. I'm sorry I always say dumb things. <laughs> I'm a dumb fella. Aww. You're smart, and you're dying, and I'm dumb, and I ain't died yet. And, well, here's the thing. I never was in the army, friend. I told folk I was, but I lied. And I don't know why I did. And now I feel better. But, well, here's another thing. You, well, you've always been, or you've mostly been nice to me. At least you spoke to me. And now you're dying. And I'm real sad, real sad. Sure ain't fair. Ain't fair at all. <laughs> I'll miss you, friend. Oh. A good man. Oh, come on. Oh, God, this is going to suck. Anyways. Sheesh, I was coming to get some gun oil. And uh, do our mission with Eagle Flies, which is right around. I will use an iron on you if you decide to wield them. Valentine, again. hey, keep them to yourself. <laughs> what is it you want from here? So, hey, bro, calm down, punk ass. I need this back in a minute. Hurry it up. Well, look at this dude. I guess when you do like stuff around the area, they treat you like shit. Accessories. Yeah, well, you know. <sighs> Upgraded uh, band. Wait, but we. Really? Hmm. Okay. Come on, why don't you just pick something to move? That's my girl. Oh. I think I like better having a female horse than the the male when I first played it. You know, it would make kind of like fun of yeah. like that. Uh, the things you would say to the uh -huh. horse, like, all right, boy, you all right, boy, or you okay, boy, or whatever the hell he would say. But now when he says, that's my yeah. girl, 
I don't know. It's, it's, it's I like it. I like it. I gotta clean this freaking horse too. It was dirty as shit. shit on me man we go to the horse cargo oh that's actually a perfect wolf pelt all right so you know what i was gonna remove it but i'm gonna keep it because it's perfect condition so good of you to join us what's going on rebellion the smell of cordite and integrity it is a beautiful thing what are y'all doing an eye for an eye we didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. This guy's never up to no good. Besides, Always up to no good. Perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear <laughs> up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite what up these deck, trees. What a dude. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. God, man, I really hate this dude sometimes, bro. Let me take that marker off. It's driving me insane. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. Mm -hmm. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Huh. That's crazy how different Dutch is at the beginning, middle of the game. Beginning and middle towards now, towards the last chapters. Different fucking person completely like you go from actually liking him to completely utterly just fucking hating him. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Oh. There we go. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. This way. The detonator's by me. Here. Hey, why I gotta be the one to blow it up? Will let us know when they're near. 
<laughs> Why oh, I have no. to detonate it, bro? What the fuck? Ah, oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, man. What, ha what happens Everyone if I don't detonate stay it? Calm. We've got the upper hand here. I'm gonna have to if it turns yellow on the map. Okay. They've passed the first charge. If we blow it now. Yep. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Oh, God. Your friends fire first, soldier! My father won't be happy about this. So much better now. Oh, shit. Watch your hands. There's another patrol in the rear. Looks like we got a fight. Jesus. I'll kill you all. You bastards. This time you pay for what you've done. Look out. They're coming up. Motion eagle fly. Let's make them pay. There might be more. Oh, there's definitely more. <laughs> Lost your hat, bro. All right, loot the soldiers. That's so dumb, dude. That was so pointless. You fools, you damn fools, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. <laughs> All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Find anything? Yes. <laughs> Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Oh my goodness. Shit. Keep your hands down. Oh, I don't have any more. Dead eye. Oh my god. What are you doing here, sir? Just standing there. This guy is a manipulative son of a bitch. I swear. I hate him. <laughs> I freaking hate him. It's 
sorry. I don't, I'm not a bad person. Where's Peta? Damn. They're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. Oh, but God. where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now nah, he wants to what leave. <laughs> we gotta go, Arthur. Come on. What a piece of shit. <laughs> Swear to God. To this to man is a savage. Sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah! Fucking beautiful horse. Let's see if we can lose them down here. Got you outnumbered, you bad shit. I guess not. Get behind something, Arthur. Following this friggin' idiot. Behind us, hold them all. Oh wow, was that like a collateral? This is a losing group. Oh, we've got to do something. Officers, you keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend, 
Here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. This man is sick as hell. <laughs> Dutch, Dutch has him jumping off a fucking ledge. What a guy. about that what a mess <laughs> i know but a mess is what we need oh we just escaped from chaos eagle flies must have been taken taken or killed well we can't go find out no not now charles i'll we'll send them uh, where is it <laughs> he's probably back at camp let's split up i'll go tell him you rest up, then go meet him up at the reservation. We are going to make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Whenever you get this and you get the deer, that's that's because of the good karma, right? If you don't have good karma, you don't get the deer, I think. the buck whatever what a fucking mess all right we have arrived at uh wapiti let's do it arthur hello charles King's son. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's a... Uh, he, he's very... Oh. Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. I'm kind of glad that Charles found like a little group of individuals, you know, like his people. I'm happy for him. Hello? Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. He's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want mm -hmm. peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more. That's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the army are worse than any point in the last five years. <laughs> I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Oh, 
Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. Yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. All right. Let's fucking do it. I like Charles's uh, little Dalmatian horse. Pretty cool, too. Ooh, look at that freaking... What a bull. Nice. Very nice. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but... If we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start just making a like noise, it. he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> you know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that? Or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. <laughs> I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. And that's for Dutch. <sighs> I gotta try. I own that at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. But it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day, we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry <laughs> fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. I don't know about sure that, chief. Don't feel like that. <laughs> I don't know about that, you chief. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all of them, they didn't. And what about the calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater. More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. That's the point. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm hmm Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. Oh, yeah. The rain's fall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. I've been thinking lately about playing Red Dead Revolver, which was the first Red Dead Redemption game I ever played. Or Red Dead game there I ever played. I don't know if I should play here on the channel. It's really old. But in the world of Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2, Red Harlow, I think that was his name, he's a myth. And so in Red Dead Revolver, that's what you play as. <clears throat> All right. Oh. You should be fine. 
Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I don't know. I might. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. We'll try and find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Just deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. Okay, come on. I love this mission. So sneaky. Stick to the wall. Careful. There's a guard up there. Hmm. This mission is nerve wracking. Good. Let's keep moving. Take him. It's not a guard, man. It's <laughs> you do well. Okay. Okay, let's move. Very nice, Charles. Fuck it. I don't have to waste the arrow. I could just loot it right back, man. Come on. You know this. Plus, look at his hat. Nice little souvenir just hanging there on the, on the little tower edge. Another two ahead. One each. Same as before. Alright, let's go. Bro, this mission is so sick. X. 
Excellent. Oof. Nice. Okay, where, where's Charles? Ow! Nope. Oh my god. Right, where is this guy? Oh, he's in there. He went through the front entrance? Oh my god, savage. Arthur Morgan? Charles, is that you? Yes, sir. Look for the keys. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna. We're on. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Any luck? That's gonna be in the body for sure. Anything on the table. Well, that's a horse survivor. That's gonna be in the body. Yeah. father sent us my father he told you to come and kill guards no he didn't say <laughs> that <laughs> of course not you okay sure enjoy being tortured clears the mind if you say so uh, whoa, whoa. No. oh god i'm fine i'm fine <sighs> oh we're fucked Let's go. Right here? No. It's been sealed uh. back up. Arthur, deal with this, would you? Yes, but how? <laughs> uh. What about that cannon? Okay. Where's the cannon? Oh, shit. Sounds like one of their patrols is on its way back. Come on. Let's use this thing. <laughs> nice. Well, don't mind if I do. Look at our horses waiting for us right there, like good, like good pets. Close. 
<laughs> Sorry, loser. We have to get rid of them, Arthur. Hold them on. I'll get you. Was I just getting off? the horse all right I'm sure he'll be fine let's go hurry let's get down the river as quick as we can no pay for this no wish they kill me when they have a chance let's just get you to safety first my friend it's like Dutch said Kid's been this mentally, mentally been eaten alive by Dutch. Believe me, that ain't my plan. Look out on the shore, they're coming after us. I love that gun, it's so strong. A little handgun. Look at that one shot kills. For the most part, obviously. Gun is nice. Shoot. I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father, even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. I'm fine. Let me take you back to your phone. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No much. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> 